Hey familia, Miranda here, and today I have some exciting pickups to share with you guys. Now I know it's been just over a week since I've uploaded. I've been busy, you guys. I've been tired, my sister was over, um, and I've just been doing things with the kiddos and stuff. You know, it's summertime and whatnot, so I just really haven't had any filming time. Um, but here today, I am going to share with you guys my pickups from the Barnes & Noble half-off Criterion sale. Yes, you heard right. You didn't think I was gonna sit this one out, did you? Cause no, I cannot sit away. And those of you that have been with me for a minute know that uh, recently, earlier this year, I actually finally decided to jump on the Criterion train and uh, <laughs> I couldn't be happier. I have been enjoying watching the, my, you know, my pickups and stuff like that. And if you're interested in seeing what I picked up um, earlier this year in the Criterion Sites flash sale, um, I will leave that video in the description box below for you guys to go check out. Um, but I do have uh, 10 titles here to share with you today. I did have another three, but they haven't arrived yet. So I actually don't have a physical location to go to. Um, so earlier, I wanna say it was this year or end of last year that um, the property owner of where the Barnes & Noble was decided to tear it down among a couple other stores to start construction of an in and out. Um, so yeah, but starting I believe the last day of next month, um, they are opening a new location near me, so I will have one to go to. So it actually literally just moved like across the street. And now the new Barnes & Noble that's opening up is going to be right next to my Target and Best Buy. Um, so that's cool. Um, but so I did have to order everything online. Uh, I did place two orders. Um, I kind of gave myself a budget, but this time I kind of blew it a little bit. Um, I kind of like set a limit on the number of titles that I want to pick up and stuff. Um, but I got my big order and then my second order that I place I don't know what happened to it um, I already contacted like Barnes & Noble because literally for the past two weeks it, it just says uh, label created and uh, you know the carrier has not yet received it or something like that so somehow it either got lost in the warehouse or in transit on the way to the carrier I don't know um, but so and I'm just waiting for uh, Barnes & Noble to confirm that my uh, shipment is somehow lost and then they're going to send me a replacement but I didn't want to wait any longer to share my pickups with you guys so when those come in I will share those but I do have 10 titles here today that I'm very excited to add to the collection um, and excited to share with you guys so let's go ahead and see what I picked up okay so the first title is one that I've had on my radar for a while I've heard good things about this and all I know is it kind of has to do with like folk music um, based back in like the 60s or so and that is Inside Lewin Davis I think that's how you pronounce his name um, it is by number 794 it's from 2013 and 104 minutes um, so I cannot wait to check this one out because I have been very interested in this one for some time Next up is this film here by Steve McQueen and that is Hunger. This one really caught my interest. I don't really know much about the story but from what I read uh, up on this it's definitely sounds very interesting um, and so it is spy number 504. It's from 2008 and it's 96 minutes long but basically it's the story of this inmate um, in I'm trying to think in Ireland. Um, and his name is Bobby Sands and it's about this hunger strike that he took um, and it was to protest the British government's refusal to recognize him and his fellow IRA inmates as political prisoners and so basically it's about the strike and leading up to the uh, final days of uh, Bobby Sands. So it just sounded very interesting so I'm definitely looking forward to uh, checking this one out. All right, then I did go ahead and pick up Love and Basketball. Now, technically, I did already have the Blu-ray of this. They even have this in a snapper case. But Love and Basketball, you guys, is one of my all-time favorite films. Like, if I were to make a, like, top 100, or even, a, like, a top 50, like, favorite films of all time, this would definitely be in there. I just love this film so, so much. Um, the chemistry between Omar Epps and Sonal Lathan is amazing. I just, I love the two of them, and it's just such a great film, you guys. Um, it's one that I grew up watching, so, yeah, I love this film a lot. Um, it is by number 1097. It's from 2000. It's 125 minutes long. So, I definitely wanted this on the best format possible, so I had to go ahead and scoop up Love and Basketball. All right, this next one has come recommended several, several times. Um, and I've heard great things about this film. Like everybody talks about this all the time and I feel like everybody already has this in their collection. Um, and that is Ghost World. It does star ScarJo, so that's awesome. And uh, I can't wait to see what the hype about this one is. Um, this is spine number 872 from 2001, 111 minutes. 
So next up is this film here called The Ice Storm. This too is one that I've had on my radar for some time, um, simply for the cast. Um, I mean, the, the storyline definitely seems uh, good and it takes place over like Thanksgiving break and whatnot, but you have an excellent cast in here. There's Kevin Klein, Joan Allen, uh, Serginia Weaver, uh, Tobey Maguire, Christina Ricci, Elijah Wood, Katie Holmes. Like that's a stacked cast right there. Um, so yeah, I've had this on my radar for a while. I decided to finally go ahead and pick it up. Cannot wait to check it out. Spy number 426 from 1997, 113 minutes. So the next title here that I have is Funny Games. I do believe this one is the original and the remake is like from 2000 something. This one is from 1997. It's 109 minutes and it's spine number 975, right? Yeah, 975. Um, and this is one that too, I, I've been wanting to check this one out. I hear it's pretty disturbing, pretty messed up. Um, I'm trying to remember where I even heard about this one from. It might have been from a recommendation from Movie Chatter, um, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I've been wanting to check this one out for a while. You guys know me. I'm very open minded when it comes to movies and stuff. And I will watch anything, you know, whether it's disturbing, totally messed up, whatever. I'll watch it. Um, but yeah, funny games I've been wanting to check out. So next up, I have a classic right here, a 90s classic. It is from 1994, 172 minutes long, and it is spine number 289, and that is Hoop Dreams. Basketball-based movie. I remember watching this one as a kid, but I probably haven't seen it since, like, you know, late 90s, early 2000s or so. Probably the last time that I watched it. I'd actually kind of forgotten about this one, and then, you know, I saw it on, you know, the Criterion, and so I had to go ahead and scoop it up because I did not have this one in the collection, and I just remember this being such a great film. Great classic, so I went ahead and got Hoop Dreams. Next is this film here called Night on Earth. And surprisingly, this is one that I've actually like just found out about you guys, like not even like a month ago or so. And I was aware that it only had like a DVD release and then boom, there it was. There's a criterion available for it. So I had to go ahead and scoop it up because yeah, even though I just heard about it, I've actually heard some excellent things about this film. Um, so I'm very curious to check this one out. Um, it does have Winona Ryder in it. So I think that's also part of the reason why I wanted this one. Um, it is spy number 401 from 1991, 128 minutes. So aside from Winona, the only other names that I really recognize in here is Giancarlo Esposito and Rosie Perez. Uh, a lot of the other names I really don't recognize. Maybe if I like actually see their faces, I might remember some of them. But, uh, you know, really wanted this for Winona. I hear that she's great in this one. So definitely, definitely excited to check this one out. All right, next one. Literally everybody has been hauling this title. And this was one that I kind of found out about, I want to say maybe a year or two ago, and I don't even remember how I found out about it, uh, but it had definitely caught my interest. So I had it on my wish list for a while, and then Criterion decides to bring it out, so I uh, had to go ahead and get it. Um, I know that this is going to be some sort of a very crazy, crazy messed up watch from what I've been hearing about this because um, I've been hearing some pretty insane things about this film, you guys. Um, so I'm very interested to check this one out. It's going to be interesting for sure. Um, and that is Pink Flamingos. So it is spy number 1131. It's from 1972 and it's 93 minutes. But uh, this is just going to be like pure madness, you guys. Like seriously, all the talk about this film, um, not exactly what I was expecting, like everything that I've heard about this so far. Um, so like I said, it should be very interesting. Alrighty, last but not least, you guys, um, this film I actually found out about through my friend Ray over at Ray's Movies. Um, and so I immediately was intrigued by this film and I hear it is super, super messed up, very hard watch. I've heard lots of people have actually had to like kind of fast forward through parts and just skip over parts and stuff like that because it is just so so messed up you guys very disturbing film i hear um it is spine number 17 it's from 1976 and it's 116 minutes long it is actually in italian um and that is salo um or the 120 days of sodom so yes i hear nothing but messed up things about this film and so you best believe I had to get it you guys I really did um so I don't know how well I will do with this film but we will see um so we got Salo
So those are all of my pickups from the sale. Like I said, I do have three more that are on the way, you guys, and a ton more on my wish list. Um, but whenever I do get those three titles in, I will go ahead and share those. But that is everything for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Join the family if you have not. And also let me know in the comments below what titles you guys picked up this time around from the uh, Barnes & Noble, you know, half off Criterion sale. Thanks for watching. Bye.